January 2nd, 2020. We did this roof here next door. Hey, when we do that thing about eight years ago? About eight years ago. And now this gentleman wants us to do his. So let's go see what we got going on. porch and that porch this is what we got to start with <clears throat> we're going to get rid of this old rubber here replace it come across here with our fascia tie it all together Drew's ripping home repair Hope you hit that subscribe button. We do a lot of these. January 2nd. Like I said, that one there we did about eight years ago. He liked it so much. That's this man's son's house. They decided to have us go ahead and do this one now before they start having leaks. That's why I have two seams. Wow. Yeah. It's very wow. Just on.
I'll walk around and show you what the benefit of Paul going around here and writing down all his numbers did for us. That allowed Chris to make every single piece that he needs. While they're putting the rubber on. <clears throat> so then he just lays them around. As soon as they get the rubber laid out. Next thing they'll do is install all this metal. Around this. This cleans off the talcum powder that is on it. Talcum powder, I call it talcum powder. It's just a powder that they use to keep the rubber from sticking together when it's rolled up. And then the primer is the next step. Prime it out. Pure Seal Roofing System EPDM Primer. And that's the same kind of rubber you use in Carlisle. Then we use a regular four inch paint roller. Put this right here on the handle. Yep. Roll it out, let it dry so it's not, so you can put your fingers in it and it won't stick to you. Always want to go out to that at least to that red line on the outside or a little bit past it because that is where you'll run your seam tape have it on what are we gonna do we're just gonna let it sit there let it sit there just like it is and let it dry so you can touch it like that and when it doesn't stick to your fingers it's ready but if it does this it's not ready See that don't do that this is actually ready but you don't have to go back and do it right now just because this is ready and that's not think you can wait an hour if you want to you can wait an hour if you want to um, and let that sit. You want to make sure that it's dry. No tacking. And then you put your seam tape down and roll that piece over there nice on that seam tape. Man, that thing will be beautiful when we're done. That seam will not come apart if you do it right. Some people like to come up here with gasoline. No way. The old school way. I can't say I haven't done it in the past. I used to use gasoline because it was a whole lot cheaper than that can over there. Um, and I would wash it off with gas and think I was doing okay, but I did have a few seam failures. So I figured out that uh, through the years and over time, not to miss any steps, not to use a different product than what's actually made for it. Gasoline is not made for cleaning off this thing. So use the right product you'll get the proper results. Uh, oh, okay. 